Alright, so today it looks like we're going to be hiking down the Sella Bay Trail. This is more towards the center of Guam. But today, it's a little bit different. If you can look out there, we've actually got a typhoon going on. Uh, it's not here yet, but it's somewhere like southwest of Midway. So I guess that's uh, it's close enough that we're getting rain and a little bit of winds, but nothing real serious. So I'm just trying to get a little bit of hiking in before everything comes in too hard. Because everything's pretty wet right now. It's been raining all day. This is like the first time today that it's actually stopped raining. So it's a little bit slippery out. Let's go this way. One of the nicer things about hiking while it's been raining a little bit. So there's normally not anybody out here with you. So you pretty much be left alone. Almost, almost got me. So here and there, it's looking like the trail gets a little bit um, unrecognizable. I mean, I'm pretty sure I'm still on. We got the uh, a trail marker there. But on the way back, I think I might be relying on, see that rock face up there? That's probably going to be my best uh, marker as to what direction to head in to get back. Yeah. Yeah. Blech. So last time I came down here, I was with a group of people, and we ended up going the absolute wrong way. Uh, we ended up coming down, and I think we were in this little valley here, in those palm trees. Uh, there's, there's a stream that runs down that, and we were following the stream, and that was completely wrong. Because <laughs> there's an actual trail right here, and we kept saying that the trail... Uh, we had the GPS up, and we were saying, dude, there's a trail right there next to us, let's try and find it. And we'd climb up here and try to find the trail, and uh, every time, we must have come within like, <laughs> like 50 feet of the trail, but we gave up before we actually found it. Because the, the grass is just super tall down there, and it's just really hard to get through. You're pretty much climbing up small waterfalls. And it's infested with spiders. Yeah, that's not the right way. This way. If there weren't clouds in the sky right now, the sun would be beating down on this trail. So right now is like the perfect time to be hiking this. Unless, of course, if it starts to rain so hard that the mountain is so slick that I can't climb back up it. I just slide back down. And then I have to survive off the land 
for the next week until the rain stops. Or I'll have to swim through a shark infested bay to get all the way back to civilization. Ooh, crikey. <laughs> all right, looks like we're coming down to a jungle portion of the trail. So it's about to get a little bit humid. That's a pretty good looking trail so far. Oh, running back into the stream. Trail doesn't go down there though. We're definitely right next to the bay. And I think I hear people swimming. Oh wow, look at this. Something that we have in Guam is old Spanish bridges from back when the Spanish were uh, going on their conquests around the world, claiming territories. These things have been around for thousands of years. And they're still here. They're very well made, I guess. Look at that. all these palm trees and jungle and then there's just this huge tree right here <laughs> and here we are on the other side and here is Sella Bay it's a beautiful little spot See a little hermit crab, has got a little coconut home. That's cool. I bet they're eating it. Looks like you could even bring a tent down here and set up shop right about here. You just have to make sure it's on the higher part so that if it does rain, you're not gonna get caught in there. I thought it was a stable rock. It was not. Whoops. 
That's another thing I love about this island. The water doesn't matter what time of year it is. It's always warm. I love that. Hmm. Looks like Carlos was being disrespectful to the jungle. It looks like he got taken away. Don't be like Carlos. about time to get out of here. We came, we saw, maybe even learned a little. And that's what it's all about. Something that I've noticed almost every time that I go hiking here is that you always find specifically 9mm laying around. How about that? I'm pretty sure I was supposed to be farther to the left when I came over here. Because I don't remember. I definitely don't remember being over here like this. It's pretty dirt. Oh well. Push on. Oh, nope. I went too far to the left. There's a trail right there. Oops. Oh. So, maybe I spoke too soon. You can get lost. But, I only got lost by like, I don't know, 50 feet. It's all right. We're all messed out of here. Yep, that's it. You'll know that you're on the right path because when you cross a stream, there's this distinct U-shaped palm tree here. So it looks like this is the end, guys. Please, if you enjoyed the video, if you want to see some more videos, I'll put the link over there. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Tell me what you thought of the video. What can I improve? Make these videos better for you guys. And what did I do well? What do you guys think? I got you look this far into the video. Never gets old. <laughs>